Giant Television proudly presents Fee Fi Fo Yum. Busy, busy. Studio's finished. What next? A showbiz star. Alas. Welcome to Family Fun for You with me, Les Dennis. Where are you? You're too. Why you can't grab me? I'm a game oh, show. Ah. Next, your munchies. Yum, yum. What are you doing? What are you doing? You, you can't eat it. I can. Watch me. Fella. I ate that giant. Now, it's Fee-Fi-Fo Yum! And today's contestants, all the way from Newcastle on the line, it's the Loopy Leopards. And they'll be playing against the Brainiacs, who come from London. Here's a taste of the thrills and spills that stand between them and their freedom. And now, here he is, every giant's favourite host. It's Des Coming Des Dennis. Yes, hello and welcome to Fee-Fi Foyum, the show where the team that's not the winner will end up as Brian's... Dinner! dinner. And, and talking of dinner, I saw two giants earlier today eating a clown, and one turned to the other one and said, does this taste funny to you? <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, thank you. Brian, did you like that one? Brian, Brian, did you, did you, like, did you like that... Joke, then he seems to be a bit preoccupied, sniffing away. OK, let's get on with the show and meet the teams. First of all, the Lucy Leopards! <laughs> Hiya, Letty. Hiya, Les! Hiya, how are you doing? I feel fantastic! Great! <laughs> Introduce us to your fantastic team. OK, it's Jacob. Hi, Jacob. Hi, Les. Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Les. Alex. Hi, Alex. Hi, Les. And... Aisha. Hi, Aisha. Hi, Les. Why do you call yourself the Loopy Leopards? Because we're crazy. You're crazy? <laughs> crazy. Because we think the name kind of just sums us up as a team. Lively, live wires. OK, that's the Loopy Leopards. Let's go over and meet the Pradiacs. <laughs> Hi, Betty. Hi, Les. Are you OK? Yeah, I'm feeling alive. Great, this is a very alive show. I like it. Introduce us to your team. Well, this is Audrey. Hi, Audrey. Hi, Les. <laughs> Hi, Audrey. This is Jack P. Hi, Jack. Hi, Les. <laughs> this is Finley. Hi, Finley. Hi, Les. And right on the end's Harvey. Hi, Harvey. Hi, Les. Did you notice I said hi, Jack? Hi, Jack. Hi, <laughs> Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you get fed up with that, don't you, hey, Jack? Yeah. OK. Why are you called the Brainiacs? Well, because we're all clever in different things. Like, Jack's clever at being, like, doing maths and stuff, and Finley's good at science, and it just sums us up, really. Like, their team sums them up. That's it, OK? That's the team! <laughs> and this is how we play Fee Fi Fo Yum. Teams, you will compete in a series of games in order to earn time. The more time you earn, the better chance you will stand in our finale at the end of the show called The Great Escape. So, let's get this show on the road with the first game. Now, humunchies are Brian's favourite food, but when he can't get them, he loves meatballs and sprouts. Yum. Can't get enough of them. So, Brian, Brian, it must be the meatballs and the sprouts that you can smell, mate. No, I don't think so. I like the smell of meatballs and sprouts. Oh, I, I know what it could be. Oh, Brian, will you please... How many times have I told you you can't keep eating the fruit? We'll have none left. No, it's not that. <laughs> Oh, well. Waste not, want not. Camera four, could you just frame up on me, please? I'm over here. All right. As I was saying, teams, when I was rudely interrupted, Brian loves sprouts and meatballs. Yummy. Your aim in this game is to feed him as many as you can using the catapults that Brian has made for you out of matchsticks and sticking plasters. The team that feeds him the most will win the first five-second lifeline, but more importantly, take his mind off eating you for a while. So, Brian, who's going to play? For this game, I'm going to pick Alex and Lindsay. You look delicious. And I want Betty and Audrey. Mm, chewy. Brian's made his choice. Teams, let's play. 
Feed me! <laughs> Loopy Leopards, you'll be firing meatballs. Brainiacs, you'll be firing sprouts. You have until Brian's egg timer runs out to feed him. Good luck. Brian, over to you. Ready, steady, feed me! OK, team, that's it. Fire as many of your foods as you can into Brian's gob. Oh, that was close. Oh, hit him right on the chin there with that meat. Ooh. Get that one in his hair. If he was having trouble smelling before, he will be now. So the meatballs have it at the moment. Oh, there you go, there goes a sprout. He's had one of each. Oh, sprouts everywhere, meatballs all over the table. Not that many in Brian's face so far. Oh, there you go. Oh, he didn't even have time to swallow then. Oh, and another sprout. The sprouts have got the idea of it now. Oh, there they go. Come on, meatballs, you need to catch up. Oh, they're coming back here. Oh, Time's up. We got loads of sprouts and meatballs all over the table, but how many did he eat? Brian, how many meatballs did you eat? Two meatballs. Two, OK. And how many sprouts? Four. Four sprouts! So that means Brainiacs, you get the first five-second lifeline. Well done. We're going to take a break. I'm going to have a meatball because I don't get anything to eat apart from Les's Tasty Challenge. Join us in a couple of minutes and find out which of our teams will end up in Brian's tub. See you in a minute. <laughs> Feeling tired and in need of a boost? Then you need Go Go Giant, giving you the energy to get up and go go. And go go. And go go. Don't live in slow mo. Have some go go. Welcome back to P5 Fo Yum. At the end of the first game, the Brainiacs leapt into the lead with a five second advantage over the Loopy Leopards. But it's still all to play for, and there's plenty of time up for grabs. What does time mean? Freedom. That's right, because if the other team beat you, Brian's gonna. Eat ya! Yeah. <laughs> and this is Brian's favourite part of the show, isn't it, Brian? Yes, it is, Des. Go on, then. Introduce it. Oh, it's Desi's Tasty Challenge. Oh, no, it isn't, Brian. I've told you before. It's Les's Tasty Challenge. Desi's Tasty Challenge. Do you know what, Audrey? I reckon that dodgy smell is Brian's B.O. <laughs> huh? Well, oh, um, Brian, I, I said uh, I was thinking of changing my name to Leo. Why would you want to do that? Jez is a beautiful name. <laughs> OK, let's play Les's Tasty Challenge. Now then, teams, under this dish is a food that Brian has put there, and you have to guess how much of it I can eat in 30 seconds, all right? Let's reveal the meal. <laughs> Semolina. Yummy, Soggy yummy, Semolina. Yummy. Oh, Fridays at school. Oh, cheese pie and semolina. I used to eat it. Yeah. So how many spoonfuls of semolina can I eat in 30 seconds? Put it down on your cards. Brian, you knew that, didn't you? You knew I was always talking to you about Fridays at school. It was a semolina and the cheese pie. <laughs> I don't believe you. OK, teams, you should have written down your guesses. Don't let the opponents see. Brian, can I have my light, please? There's a gob of lovely jam in the middle there. I might go for that as well. So, here we go. 30 seconds starting now. <laughs> 20 seconds. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
gone. Oh, it came flooding back. Friday afternoons, double maths. <laughs> <laughs> OK, teams. How many did you guess that I could eat in 30 seconds? What did you think, Loopy Leopards? Seven. Seven spoonfuls. <laughs> and what about you, Brainiacs? What did you think? We had 12. You had 12. <laughs> well, Brian, how many spoonfuls of semolina now did I eat in the 30 seconds? Des, you have eaten 13 spoonfuls of semolina. 13, so you have just won away, so you get another five-second lifeline. They're running ahead, the loopy leopards. You've got to catch up. We're going to take a break. Join us soon when one of our teams will end up in Brian's ton. Who will it be? We'll see you soon. <laughs> New stinks for men and four haunting aromas. Cabbage, dung, cheese, and sewage. Cabbage. Mm, ladies love it. <laughs> stinks. Armpit decay all day. Welcome back to FIFI Faux Yum. Yet, yeah, oh, oh, hey, Brian, oh, leave it out, will you? That smells like cabbage. You smell like cabbage. No, I don't. You smell like cabbage. You smell like cabbage. You, you stick a cabbage. You smell like cabbage. You stick it. You, you smell like cabbage. <sighs> <sighs> okay, at this stage in the game. The Loopy Leopards have yet to score, and the Brainiacs have 10 second lifeline. Well done. <laughs> There's plenty of time up for grabs as we play our next game. Now, Brian has placed into the lime jelly lots of fridge magnets. Now, your job, teams, is to take them out and make a sum that will add up to Brian's lucky number. You can only take up to five at one time. If you don't like them, you can put them back. Is that clear, teams? Yes! yes. So, Brian, what's your lucky number today? My lucky number is 31. <laughs> nice number, that, Brian. Yeah. Let's find out who's diving into the lime jelly. I'm going to pick Jacob. Mmm. You look appetizing. And I'll have snack. <laughs> I mean, Jack. And who will be making the sum? Aisha and Letty. Yummy, yummy. And I want Finley. Finley spread on a piece of toast. And Harvey. Brian's made his choice. Let's play. Lucky numbers. Jacob and Jack, you're diving in for the numbers and symbols. You'll pass them to Aisha and Harvey, who will then pass them on to Letty and Finley, who will make the sum. Good luck. Goggles on. Ready, steady, go! That's it. Remember, we need the sum that adds up to 31. It could add up. It could be a multiplication. It could be a division. Mmm, jelly numbers. Mmm. I think it's a jelly that smells. Just get your numbers out and your symbols out. What is that smell? <laughs> Remember, you can only have that about it any one time. If you don't like them, you can't change them. Oh, and the Brainiacs reckon they've got it. So tell us, guys, what is it? Six times five is 30. Yes. Plus one is 31. Is that right, Brian? Yes, and that is your lucky number. Well done, it's your lucky number two because you have another five-second lifeline. Ooh, you're so, good at this. Loopy Leopards, you didn't finish, but what were you going for? Oh, well, we were going to 
do three times nine, which is 27, and we were going to do plus four, which would be 31. So. But you couldn't find the numbers. Hard luck. It means you really have to catch up, loopy leopards. But we're going to have a break, and you really need to pay attention to these adverts on GTV, because I'll be quizzing you after the break. And remember, you're time to play along too, so your life won't depend on it. Imagine a shampoo so soft, so gentle, so cheesy. Imagine no more. With natural cheese extracts, Cheesy Chop Shampoo leaves your hair soft and cheesy no matter how often you use it. If you get it in your eyes, it doesn't sting. And if you get it in your mouth... Mm, cheesy. Its unique cheesy formula constantly maintains your hair's cheese levels. From morning till evening. Made purely of cheese. Cheesy Chops. Your hair will never feel better or cheesier. That sounds ominous. Must have a big one brewing. You can't do that in a lift. Oh, and that's even worse. There's no escape, mate. Unforgivable! If only she was wearing a guff muffler! Fitted in seconds, the guff muffler cuts out those gusset crumbles, leaving you free to get on with what's important. The guff muffler, putting you in control of your output. to P5 Bo Yum. Now then, teams, were you watching and listening to those ads carefully? Let's hope so, because I'm about to quiz you on them. If you have an answer, then buzz in. If it's correct, I will give you a two-second lifeline. But be careful. If you buzz in and give me an incorrect answer or hesitate, don't say anything, I'll pass it over to your opponents. At this stage in the game, Loopy Leopards, you have no seconds as a lifeline, mm. so that means, Brainiacs, you must have 15 seconds. Well oh, done. Big difference, but you can catch up, and this is your last chance, Loopy Leopards, to get some time. All right, good luck. Fingers on your buzzers as we play... Ad Analysis. So, let's see who's paying attention. Question one. Cheesy Chop Shampoo is made from what? Brainiacs. Brainiacs? Cheese. 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 Is it? Let's have a look. Made purely of cheese. Cheesy chops. Cheese is the correct answer. Oh, that's an easy one. Oh, that's my nightmare, that. And that giant definitely wasn't worth it. Question two. According to the ad, if cheesy chop shampoo gets in your eyes, it doesn't Loopy what? leopards. Sting. Sting. Let's see. If you get it in your eyes, it doesn't sting. Is the correct answer. Well done. <laughs> you get your first two seconds. Well done, Loopy Leopards. Question three. In the guff muffler ad, how many people were in the Loopy lift? Loopy leopards. Four. Loopy leopards. Four. Was it four? <laughs> yes, it was. It was four. Well done. They're much cleverer than they look. Running. So, question four. Which floor did the lift Brainiacs. stop at? Brainiacs. Ground floor. Was it the ground floor? <laughs> yes. Ground floor. You get another two. So, last question in this round. Oh, question five. What a stupid question. Complete the sentence. Guff muffler, putting you in control of your... Brainiacs. Boss. Brainiacs. Gas. I'm going to hand it across. Complete the sentence. The guff muffler, putting you in control of your... What? Come on. Going to have to hurry you? Is it wind? Is it wind, Alex? Let's have a look. The guff muffler, putting you in control of your output. Sorry about that. So that means you got two right, which gives you four seconds. Well and done. it means you, the Brainiacs, got two right, which gives you four seconds. <laughs> How will that affect your overall lifeline? Let's find out. After a word from Jim Elastic and Stretch. Uh -oh. Thanks, Les. Loving the show. Now, on today's Get Up and Go Go, I'm here at 
Big Ben. It's not very big at all, it really isn't. But I've got a wonderful routine for all you giants. It's called the Big Ben Bounce. So join me, Jim Elastic, after Fee Fi Fo Yum, right here on GTV. See, we have a little bounce now. Huh? Come on, work with me. Five, six, seven, eight. And sidestep, bounce, 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 and sidestep. Sorry, Prime Minister. And sidestep, bounce, 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 and sidestep. Get out the way. And sidestep. Now things are getting serious. It's down to you to decide who is going to take on the great escape. <laughs> this for both teams is the most important decision they will face today. Whoever steps up to the mark will have the fate of their teammates in their hands. Look at them. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a small campsite in here. Two tents. <laughs> <laughs> OK, teams, out of your huddles. I need to know who's going to be facing the great escape. Loopy Leopards, who's playing for you? Blackie. Why is that, Aisha? Because she's going to get us our freedom. <laughs> yeah, I'm very confident about that. That's who's playing for the Loopy Leopards. Who's playing for the Brainiacs? Harvey's playing for us because he's fast, he's clever, he's strong. <laughs> and he can also balance very well, and he'll get us our freedom. Very confident from the Brainiacs. OK, Letty and Harvey, it's time for... The Great Escape. This is it. Letty and Harvey. Brian has trapped your teammates, as you can see, in the scales of justice, and their future hangs <laughs> literally in the balance. It's down to you two to try to free them, but standing between you and them is the Great Escape. First, you must tackle the Donut Dash. Then it's on to the kitchen roll crawl. Watch out for those meatballs. Once through, you will then take on the rolling pin run. But beware, Brian's got his tea bags out. Gotcha! Then you will complete the chalk bar challenge, building a walkway to Brian's big bowl. Then it's up the slippery slope to the rope. The player that gets to the top first must pull the release rope. Only then can your teammates escape down the freedom chute. I don't need to remind you, the team that's not the winner will be Brian's... Dinner! So, Loopy Leopards, you have an overall lifeline of four seconds. And Brainiacs, you have an overall lifeline of 19 seconds. So that gives you a 15-second lead. How do you feel about that, Harvey? Great. Great. Oh, man, a few words, just the one. Great. And how do you feel, Letty? Do you think you can catch up? I think we could if we tried really hard, but even if we do lose, we're just, you know, we're in it to have fun and take part. That's right. You might be in it. It's stomach. So how do you feel about that? I feel a bit nervous. A little bit nervous. OK. <laughs> Harvey, you will go on Brian's first whistle, and then 15 seconds later, Letty, you will go on Brian's second whistle. Good luck. Brian, it's over to you. <laughs> Run for your lives! That's it, Harvey is off. He's gone on the first whistle, but he's tripped. He's going in now to the kitchen roll crawl. <laughs> there you go, Letty. You can catch up. It has been done before. Harvey's halfway across. He's actually across first attempt, and he's got across the rolling pin run, and he's straight into the chop bar challenge. Come on, Letty, you need to catch up. Okay, Letty, take your time. It's just important to get across. Oh, well done, you avoided that. Brilliant, Letty. Wow, you stopped that team bag from hitting you. Harvey, you're nearly there. You've completed the jump bar challenge. Keep your hands Harvey, keep your hands Keep your hands Keep your hands Keep your hands So you need to get up the slippery slope now, Harvey. Letty, you're not far behind. And Harvey's having difficulty. He's slipping and he's sliding. 
This is where you can possibly catch up, Letty. Not as easy as it looks, this slippery slope, because it does become exactly that, very slippery. It looks like Letty might have caught up. Those 15 seconds seem so long ago now, and there she is, she's in. She's ahead, in fact. She's caught up those 15 seconds. She's on the slippery slope, they're both on the slippery slope. She's back into the lime green jelly. Harvey's nearly at the top. Can he get the... Oh, and he's slid back in. Letty is going very carefully, but she's back in. I'm starving. Harvey's pulling back up. Letty is just behind. This is really tense. I'm getting tense. Ryan's getting tense. Harvey's nearly there. If he can just reach that top, he will be there. It looks like he's there. Harvey has reached the top. He's pulled the release rope. It means the Brainiacs are free to go. Off you go, Brainiacs. There you go, guys. You're off. Quickly before Brian changes his mind. Harvey, well done. Come on down the freedom shoot. Freedom. Brainiacs, well done. Oh, Letty, you did so well. You caught up that 15 seconds, didn't you? What do you think let you down? I think I wasn't really using the sides because I kept on slipping. Oh, and... never I know. mind. You know what that means? You failed to release your teammates, which means you're not the winner. You're Brian's dinner. dinner. I'm so sorry, Letty. You were lovely. I'm here, you. Up to you, Brian. Bad luck. Sorry to lose you, Loopy Leopards, but rules is rules. Um. Three, five, four, yum. Ah! I'm going to enjoy you. Brian's tucking into his five a day, but he'll be hungry again soon. Join us next time when two teams of humunchies will fight for their freedom and try to stay out of Brian's tum. See you then. Say goodbye, Brian. Goodbye, Brian. So, Brian, did you ever figure out what that smell was? Whatever it is, it's sickly sweet, slightly cheesy, and it's really getting up my nose. Yes! It's you! Do you think Horrible Histories is really funny? Can't get enough of the vicious Vikings and terrible Tudors? Well, why not head over to the CBBC website and check all the latest clips and songs? Go to bbc.co.uk slash cbbc and click on Horrible Histories to start watching now. Who will be your horrible hero? Aztec! I've made so many sacrifices to be here. Literally, I've killed 80,000 people. Queen Elizabeth the First! If you don't pick me, I'll chop off your head. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm not. Victorian Pauper! This has been the best thing that's happened to me since I recovered from TB. Horrible Histories is back! Go to our website and choose your very own horrible hero. Meet Lisa. Thanks. Tommaso. Anyone finds out that Tommaso is pretending to be a boy, she'll go straight to prison. Who knows I'm a girl? A girl with a hidden past. One word to Maestro and it's all over. Mom? An incredible talent. Perfetto. Not just a pretty face. And an amazing friend. Beautiful. Just like that. Leonardo, Mondays at 5.15 on the CBBC channel. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.